What's going on guys? Hope you're all having a great day today and today we're back with a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own discord bot how to put it online 24-7 it'll never turn off and how to change the status status and have it cycle through multiple different statuses and if that doesn't uh, make sense we will make sense of that uh, more later. But before we get into the video, if you guys have any questions at all, make sure you join my Discord server, which is right here on the screen. The link will be in the description to join. Um, I'm kind of I'm trying to build up a community. We have um, 940 members in the server, so even if you don't don't have a question, you can still join up. You know, I'm always trying to add new bot things. Um, I also sell COD services. I sell different bot bot dashboards and stuff. So. Either way, you guys could join up, but um, anyway, let's get into the video. Alright, so what you want to do first is download the code in the description. <clears throat> and you will get this code right here. It should have these files in it. Um, and once you have that downloaded, set that to the side because we need to do a couple things before we dive into Replit. Um, if you guys don't already have a bot, go to the Discord developer portal and log in. Um, and then once you log in, you'll be on this tab here. This is all my other bots and my server. Um, and you'll hit new application. You'll give it a name. Uh, I'll just go with champ test. You can give it an icon if you want right there and put a description. But then you'll go to bot, add bot. And now you'll be right here. And you'll want to invite the bot to your server. And to do that, you have to go to this tab right here. Go to the URL generator. And you will hit bot. And also, if your bot is going to have slash commands, you will want to hit applications.commands as well. Click on whatever perm permissions you want the bot to have. I'm just going to hit some generic commands here. Um, you know, that's fine like that. Then after you have all the permissions selected, you will go to copy, go to a new tab, paste that link, and you will add it to your server. I'm going to add it to my test server. And here's all the commands we selected. Authorize. And all right, it should be in my test server. Um, let's add that here so you guys can see it. Alright, so now you should see right here champ test. You see it is offline currently. But now that we have the bot in our server, we're going to want to go to uh, Replit. And I'm going to actually. I'm going to delete this real quick. Um, delete that. So I'm just going to exit that out. And we're going to. So search up Replit. I'm going to walk through this together, even though, yes, I did just have Replit up. Just going to type it in, pull it back up, and I am going to be already auto-logged in, but you just have to log in, create an account. You have to verify your email, probably. And then it should put you to this page right here. And what you want to do is go to Create REPL, hit Nix, and just name it, uh, give it a title. I'm just going to put Video, Create REPL. And now from here, what you want to do is you'll upload the bot stuff so upload um, file and you'll hit the first folder first and click on index and open this index and go back to upload file click on dot replit up and uh, upload the dot replit and then the replit dot nix and replace that and then run the code then hello from node.js version 16.7. And what this just did is we up, upgraded to the most recent version. On Replit, they don't keep up to date with the versions. So it's like node version 12.8 or something normally. So we just upgraded it to the latest version. So we should not have any problems there. So after you do that, you will then go back to upload file and you will click on the first index or not the first index but this index right here open replace it and now you should have this file like this 
Now all you need to do is go to secrets, type in token, and it has to be in all caps, um, and then go back to the Discord developer portal, click on bot, and right here you'll copy your token, and you will paste it right here. And make sure if you use Replit for other coding things, make sure you do not put your token in any of the code here because Replit is a public um, it's a public website, so anyone can see your code, but they cannot see your secrets tab. So if you have your token on the secrets tab, that's perfectly fine. They can't see it. Only you can see it. But if they, if you have your token, like, uh, down here, like some tutorials you'll watch, you'll, they'll want you to put your token here. You can't do that because anyone can see your code and they will steal, uh, your bot. They might completely delete your server. It, it's not good. You don't want to do that. Uh, before we run this, though... We have to install some packages. So you'll go to Shell over here and type in npm install express. And don't put that all caps, it has to be lowercase. Then after we do that, we will do npm install discord.js. Alright, now that that is installed, we're just going to do a uh, bot check. We see it is offline. Go back, run it, and you should get this example app listening at HTTPS localhost 3000. And we see that our bot is now online. And to change the status, I have it set up in the code here where you can have it cycle through every, I think it's 20 seconds. It'll say a new status so I have it as Merry Christmas or Merry Xmas um, watching Bitcoin and playing champjr.co which is my bot website uh, because I have made my bot a public bot anyone can download it <coughs> um, but you see here it's cycling through right here every it might be 10 seconds uh, it'll cycle through with whatever you have it set as so you can change this to watching listening streaming um, I think I'm missing one more. And playing, obviously, I didn't say playing. And then put the message to whatever you want. So I'll just change it for kicks and giggles really quick. Hi, hello, and. <clears throat> goodbye I don't know it's whatever um, but that will take a second to, uh, to change so we'll give that just a second we'll check back in now what you want to do is take the link that um, that Replit gave you right here copy that and go to uptime robot you have to create an account you probably have to verify your email then after you do that you'll be on this page here you'll hit add new monitor you will hit HTTPS, you'll give it a name, and then you will put the URL right here. Create monitor. Oh, monitor already exists. Okay. That's whatever. I'm just going to, I'm going to delete this monitor anyway, so I mean, it doesn't matter. Monitor already, well, that's impossible. Oh, never mind. I know what they mean. I know what they mean. I already have one that's video dot the Candelia. Okay, so let me change this. Uh, video one, and then let's swap out the uh, the URLs here. Copy that. And there we go. Okay, so it added it now. Just random tester whatever that is okay go back here and we see that it has changed to goodbye and it's going to cycle through every 10 to 20 seconds with the new status that you change and if you only want it to be one status you can just remove these two run it and it should be just fine saying hi or if you want to add another one you copy 
enter, paste, and then you can change both of these to whatever you want, and you can add four then that'll cycle through. Uh, but that's been it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, and if you have any questions, join my Discord. I do read YouTube comments, but it's a lot easier if you join my Discord, open the ticket, or just put in the main chat your question, and I can help you answer it. And I um, also do want to create, or I, I'm thinking about creating a video about how to make a ticket tool, a welcome bot, um, kick, uh, Discord commands like for uh, kicking people, band commands, stuff like that. So if you guys want to see that kind of video, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Uh, that's been it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.